And I could wrap my whole life up in 24 carats of gold Lately I've been dreaming about diamonds and pearls Yeah, diamonds and pearls And enough money I Yo, what's up guys? Tom here and I'm bringing you guys a G36 Golden Moab with the silencer and extended mags on the map resistance. And um, I told you guys this, this strategy in my last video it was the same map on FFA um, FFA is the, the, the game type I play the most in Modern Warfare 3. I just seem to enjoy it the most, and it makes Modern Warfare 3 fun for me. Um, so that's pretty much how I grew my channel, and that's why I'm using this for my 100th video, because basically I've just been posting a lot of FFA. That's kind of my specialty, I guess. And I, I do sometimes post some Modern Warfare 2, as you guys could tell. Or a long time ago, I did, like, Black Ops stuff. I could, I could do more of that before Black Ops 2, if you guys would like, but... Um, basically I want to thank you guys for sticking around for a hundred videos because if you're watching this video it's my 100th video even if you subscribed at like 75 85 or even if you're subbing at this video I really appreciate it I I pre I'm not one of these guys that are just gonna go around complaining about how hard it is to grow on YouTube when it actually is really hard to grow on YouTube um, because you gotta remember it's not really about how good the videos you put out you could be putting up out like amazing content great videos and they're not gonna get recognized because on YouTube there's all right just think about it there's like millions of videos getting posted per, per day and um your video is just not going to come up in a search result it's it's hidden bes behind millions of other videos um and the, the people that you're going to find in the the search results are the guys that are already big and that have been doing this for a long time and that w were some of the first guys to start doing this um and basically they're hiding all the guys that are just starting out like i started out in the modern warfare 3 era um you know, it's it's gonna be even harder for the guys starting out in the uh, the Black Ops 2 era when they just start posting videos in Black Ops 2, and um, obviously it's the easiest for guys that have been doing it since COD 4, uh, World at War a little harder, Modern Warfare 2 a little harder but not that hard. You know, you you get the point. But um, I really appreciate it. Um, I love all my dog pack. Um, we got a nice size channel. We got a lot of active subs, so I really do appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I just want to thank you guys a lot, but you, you guys already know my strategy on resistance. I posted that video up uh, two days ago on how to get the easiest Moab you will ever get in Modern Warfare 3. It's definitely on FFA uh, resistance. And I just love playing FFA because, you know, it, it makes the game more fun for me. There's not as much bullshit. Um, you're not gonna go hop into, it's not like Ground War where you go hop into it, like, Ground War has the potential to be a really fun game type, but it just pisses me off because you hop in Ground War, you might be, like, facing a really big party of, you know, nine or, no, nine, eight, six, seven, you know, something like that. Um, actually, yeah, there are nine people in Ground War. Um, and then you might have, like, the suckiest kids in the world on your team, which seems to happen to everybody all the time if you play solo on Ground War or something like that. In free-for-all, you have no one to blame but yourself. Um, you will get the occasional party in free-for-all from them joining their friend's session, because then you could tell when they both have the same yellow clan tag or colored clan tag. That gets annoying, and I would recommend just backing right out, because they team up, they don't kill each other, but they run in groups and try to kill you, so I just back out right away. Um... You know, except for Black Ops 2, although I, I kind of think I'm more of an Infinity War guy, I'm more of a Modern Warfare guy. I think I, obviously we can't judge yet, but in the middle of Black Ops 2, it'll be interesting to see if you guys are more Black Ops fans or the Modern Warfare fans. Um, I actually really do like this game. I think it's it's fun. I love the specialist. Um, I think it wouldn't be near the game it is if it didn't have the specialist loadout perks. That, to me, made the game. Uh, very fun. I just like how this game runs. I like the engine. I like pretty much mostly everything about it. Um, Modern Warfare 2 going back and playing it, the engine feels really weird and plus it's really fucked up now as you guys can see from the video I posted. If you didn't see it, go check it out. Um, some guy wall hacks me across the map. Pick up the Moab from a guy in Last Stand. Why are you in Last Stand, you little noob nugget? But that's basically it. And you go, you always gotta end off the Moab in style and fashion. You always gotta let the Moab go off. I, obviously, I know right now I have one more kill to go. I leave that one kill for the Moab to get 360 spin for the win. I'm flea. I'm just joking. I'm fly. That was a fly move. Um, 
Oh, one more thing. Hopefully, maybe uh, go check out um, my background. It was made by Slick Gaming. He makes awesome backgrounds, so definitely go check him out. One of the some of the best backgrounds on YouTube. Definitely check him out. Link in the and his link will be in the description.